guys, welcome back to my channel for today's brand new video, which is a YouTube requested question on how to take and edit your mobile photographs like professionals. So what I'm actually going to do today is go through my editing workflow on my mobile device and actually show you the apps that I use and exactly how I edit my iPhone photographs. So this is a look at some of the, the iPhone photographs that I've taken, which are a wide variety of many different things from, you know, just regular landscapes to nature to architecture, many different things that I've edited where you can actually see, I'm going to actually have these at the end of the video as well so you can get a better visual of these, but these are just some of the photos I've actually taken recently and have processed all on my iPhone or iPad. So I don't, I don't edit any of these pictures on the computer as, number one, I think that's cheating to, to do that, but I like to keep everything on my mobile devices. So what we're actually going to do today is I'm going to show you exactly how I edited this photo here, which was taken at Rock City up in North Georgia or, or South, what is that, Southwest Tennessee. And we're going to go through all of the programs that I use for this picture. So what I did is we're going to pull up my first program here, which is Camera Plus, by the way. So once I got my picture imported, I'm just going to go to Edit. Every now and then, I, I just, what I do in cam Camera Plus is just mainly do either, either see what the auto setting will give me. Um, in this case, I think I actually would just leave it on. I'll use the uh, auto setting and then I'll come here to filters. So what I'm gonna do here is just use the vibrant filter, but I'm gonna take it down maybe about 25%, give or take or so, and just leave it right there. So that's that's all in Camera Plus, not, not really much done in, in Camera Plus. Next app is Snapseed which is available for both Android and iOS, by the way. So I'm just gonna locate that picture. We're gonna import it. So what I, I'm gonna do is run the HDR scape. So we're gonna choose a style. I generally like using the, the people versus nature a lot of times because it seems like the nature one is, is sometimes a little bit harsh. Okay, so we're gonna keep that around 75%. So next, we're going to go here to tune image. And so what I'm going to do is give it a little bit of bump and brightness, not, not that much. Okay, kind of fill in some of those shadows, give a little light to them. Okay, let's see, give a little bit slight contrast. Saturation, we're going to add a, a lot of that. So we're probably going to bump that up to maybe 25. And then because I of the rock and the earth tones in this picture, I'm going to kind of give a little bit of a warmer white balance. So we're going to give it a lot of that. So we're going to stay, stay there for that. So once I've gone through that, that's all in Snapseed. So what we're going to do, export it. Then bring up Visco Cam. We're going to import into this. Okay, down here there are five five different options that you can choose. And so we're gonna choose this middle one right here, which is where you do all your editing. You can choose different filters, and then you can also do um, individual en enhancements, which I don't use the other programs for. It just has a different look. I, I use, you'll notice that a lot of the programs I, I use have pretty much the same similar types of editing that you can do in them, but I kind of like the, the differences between them because they, they do have different effects that they add to the picture. So that's that's my reason for using so many different um, photo editing apps on my pictures. So I'm going to choose one of these presets, the F2 Mellow preset, and I'm just going to give it a little, little bump in that, not too much. So I'm going to add a little bit of sharpness, not too much. Always love the vignette, so we're going to add halfway with the vignette. 
Then I'm actually gonna slightly fade it a little bit. Probably gonna bring that down to one. Okay, so then after that, we just close out of that. We're gonna save it to our camera roll. Lastly is mixture. This is where my final touches are generally done, where you see some that have those really funky filters or that have you know a really nice kind of a of texture to it this is what i i use on all of those pictures that you see so i'm gonna import this to uh, mixtures almost said instagram there for a minute and what i'm gonna do is go through now i can use the presets that i have but what's what's the point of using a preset if you don't actually get to see exactly what i'm doing First, we're going to add landscape enhancement, and then I always like to go back again. Of course, you just saw me add this in another program. So I'm actually going to bump this up to 86. Let's give or take a few. Okay, so we're in grunge. I'm going to choose, let's see, where's the effect that I want to use? Okay, let's use concrete. So we're gonna bump that up quite a bit as well. Okay, so then we're gonna add yet another one from the same group. We're gonna add this some little reddish kind of tone. I'm gonna give about 18 or so on that one. Okay, here we go. Add this one, add about 30% to that. Yet another layer here. Add a light leak. Add about six or so percent right there. Okay, emulsion. Okay, this is what we want here. Add a little bit of that. Go back to that stone wall. And we're gonna go up here to the radiance. Let's see. I think I just passed, yeah. Just passed the one that I needed. So bring that down a little bit. We're gonna go to landscape enhancement again at the neutral density at about a nine on that we're gonna go in here to the adjustments gonna change our exposure kind of gonna dial that down a little bit contrast we want to dial that down just a little bit as well temperature go up a little bit on that to about a five and then we're going to go to fade at about 18 or so on that. We're gonna go to highlights, go to about 80 on that, and then our shadows, we're gonna go about 10. Then give it a little bit more bump of sharpness in this as well. And so there you have it. Then once I have everything that I want, we're gonna save it, and there you have it. As far as editing, you've seen that. As far as actually taking iPhone pictures or any kind of mobile phone pictures you know it's very simple it's very easy you can just be going out someplace walking around you can just pull out your, your phone and take a quick picture you know I think it's a little bit more forgiving when it comes to mobile photography you know you don't have a lot of equipment to be dealing with it's, it's just straightforward and simple so that's pretty much you know my my whole viewpoint and my whole take on on actually taking mobile phone photography photographs you know it's really no limits to the different things that you can take pictures of really so just just be adventurous and just you know wherever you are just snap some pictures so I guess I pretty much covered everything if you want to learn more visit my Instagram I'll have all the link and everything down in the description and that's pretty much it so I guess until next time I'll see you guys later We're going to add another. Let's see, this time we're looking at the uh, landscape enhancements here. And I want to add, let's see, this may not be it. Let's go to light week. Don't you all say anything to, to my editing here. I generally have my presets already set, so 
actually going through and trying to find find these options again is you know very very interesting right now I actually have no idea where this one that I'm looking for is located I really don't it's somewhere in here okay this is not it okay here we go Follow me online at Professor Hines on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Also visit me on the web at dynamicvisionphotography.com. Also be sure to check out my brand new fine art store at dynamicvisionphotography.net.